Uh, do you think you'd be able to uh, discuss things with me uh, while you're mixing here? Sure, yeah. I'm Right now I'm mixing a, a blue that, I wanted the blue to be a little bit lighter. So, and I don't have white, but I do have silver, light silver. So I'm mixing this light silver into my blue. So what is it that really um, propels you in the enterprise that you've undertaken? Um, propels me. I think it's just image making. I love to, to make images. How do you feel about the state of arts and culture in America at the moment? Well, I mean, it's, pro it's probably tied into the economy, and the economy's bad, so it's very hard right now for, for everyone. Um, especially if you're trying to make a living as an artist, and it's hard enough just in a good economy, but then when it's bad, it's a little more difficult. But then I think there's also loopholes. Like, art and imagination is, all, is also kind of like resourcefulness. So if you can be resourceful and practical, you can kind of see possibilities anywhere you look. So I think that's a, a thumbs up for artists, where you can be inventive and creative about how you're making a living. And so, now I have this pretty ready mix. I'm, I might uh, do a little screen time. Sure, okay. okay. Is there much in the way of discussion for artists, uh, particularly at Reed's Art Space and uh, throughout the country at the moment, in terms of the amounts of toxins that many artists are being uh, exposed to as a result of their work? As a result of what? Of their work, okay. essentially, yeah. Um, yeah, I think, I think most artists are, are pretty conscious of it. I know I am. That's why I'm using water-based inks okay. today out here. Now, this is a shirt I've already printed on. Black that's on McLeavy Green, speaking about how Abraham Lincoln came and visited the city in 1860 and gave an address. And I'm gonna print the next thing right on top of this. Okay, okay. And what influenced this particular design? This. a wide variety of demonstrations of silk screen making and silk screen printing over the years. And to the average American, it seems like an extraordinary, archaic, and almost mystic process. Um, how do you feel that, that bodes for the future of us, uh, of uh, the resurgence of uh, silk screen printmaking?
So how much does your average piece actually run in terms of purchasing it out, in terms of when you mass produce it? Actually? Well, I sell t-shirts retail for about $20. Okay. But I also do fine art. I sell screen on fabric and that you'll pay a little Right, sure. Of course, right. Sure. I'm going to hang this one up. It's a beautiful piece. Absolutely beautiful piece. It's definitively bridge board. Right?